GDP short up there is that it is just a data nightmare. It's really much harder and, and would have been, I mean, Dave has done a lot of work. He obviously did a great job last night. He's obviously running on not uh, the whole the amount of sleep that one would like. <laughs> and, um, and so and so I just wouldn't want to ask him to ha do that level of work. It's it BDP short is literally as much work as all the other categories put together. Sir, Miss Park. Is it appropriate to ask how much work, in your opinion, this will place on future management of the Hugos? I, 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 I'm going to say that's debate. Okay, thank Sorry. you. Uh, that's fine, just cut and dry today. Yeah, but it's not about... No, it's, 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 a, it's an informational question. This, is, it's, this affects the Hugo administrators. This should be yeah, but it's not about okay. the application of the data. I'm going to rule this debate. In, in, in the chair's opinion, would Committee of the Whole be a good thing at this point? Yeah. Well, so move it if you wish. Hey, the, the speaker asked if moving to create a Committee of the Whole rather than just a question time on the application of the data was in order, or was what I wanted. I, I'd really like not to, because I really do understand. I, I think some of these questions affect. I I can't stop someone from doing that. Uh, I I really 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 hate to extend this thing, but people were asking good questions. Just go ahead and make the motion. I so move. Is it sec second? Is there any objection to just devolving into a committee of the whole for how much time do we have left? Five minutes. For the next five minutes, so that. That means that. So for half time. I'm sorry, I don't understand what difference that would make. So, right now we are in question time on the application of EPH to the six, five, however many data sets we have. That is the only questions that are to me. If we devolve into a committee of the whole, we can debate without actually debating the motion, which means, which means that, have to take minutes. Right. A, the secretary doesn't have to take minutes, B, Ms. Paul can ask her question, and other questions that would have been ruled to be, would be answerable. Does everybody understand the difference? Yes. Yes. I heard one no, but I'm not gonna deal with it because there's an overwhelming <laughs> understanding. All right, is there any objection to devolving into a committee of the whole? There's an objection there. That means we have to vote on this. All those in favor of devolving to a committee of the whole. All right, hands down. All those opposed? Hands down. The ayes appear to have it. We have now five questions. I'll let Mr. McCarty answer Ms. Paul's question now. So, so Ms. Paul's question, if I... What? You need to Yes. No, well, no, no, Mr. Chairman, my point of order is not that we were not allowed to go into Committee of the Whole because the, the vote involved was clearly enough to take the two-thirds vote to suspend the rules and go into Committee of the Whole. Mr. Chairman, I do not believe that, that you are allowed to preside at this point. Oh, goody. <laughs> Also, we need to actually agree to r recording or not recording. All right. It, it seems the sense of the meeting, so, Mr. Ellingworth, it's all yours. Um, all right. So, but going back to Ms. Polk's question, I'm going to restate it so she can confirm that I that I understand it correctly. The question is, um, how much effort do I think is involved on the administration team to do this? Is that roughly true? Um, I, I think it's a well. If you have blind faith in computer systems, it's not hard. If you want to check anything, it takes more time than the administrators have. And that's, and that's not to check everything, that's to check anything. It took me a couple months of going back through and looking at numbers until my eyes bled to make the initial report. This report is not checked nearly as much because I, couldn't, I could not look at the data in time to get anything ready for this meeting. So I had to trust that everything was done correctly. That makes me uncomfortable as an administrator. 
Who? Parliamentary inquiry is my previous question in order at this point. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay, Dave, we entrust you implicitly. We trust you implicitly. That's a mistake. Um, <laughs> do you think this is a good idea? Um, I, I have said publicly that I don't think this is a good idea. I think it's opaque. I think it can't be explained to people who are affected by it. The only way to check the date, the only way to check that the administrators have done their job correctly is to get access to the raw data, which is never released to anyone except for this testing. I don't think it's a good idea. However, I don't want to say that my concerns are the only concerns. And so I have tried my best to be very helpful to Mr. Jameson and to do this because this is an interesting goddamn voting system. It really is. <laughs> Um, and I try and I tried not to let my personal feelings affect that and I hope that they haven't. Mr. Olson. Oh, I have not really closely compared this year's results with previous year's results in the opinion of uh, Jameson and, and Dave. In the opinion of Dave, Jameson and Dave, are the previous year's results and what you have up this year basically the same or were there significant differences? There, there was a difference, but I don't think it was necessarily, it, it, your significance depends on you. I believe that EPH was slightly more effective this year than last year. And I say that a, as an administrator feeling that the slating behavior was actually stronger last year than this year. It did more this year against, to my mind, weaker slating. Um, and it's, it's, not, it's not innately predictable as to when it's going to be strongly effective and when it's not. Jameson, do you I want to? Essentially agree, yeah. Another question? We have some over here. They've been up for a while. Yes, I know they've been up for a while. That's why I'm ignoring them. I am not <laughs> paying anyone who's standing to gain recognition during the previous question. You. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Please do. You probably have to do it in the form of a question. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm Nathaniel on the road. Um, I'm Nathaniel on the road. Uh, you've now seen two of the categories. I'd ask that the fan cast category be put up as well. I haven't had a chance to look at it either. Uh, what, what order is that? That's um, uh, uh, just past fanzine, so near the bottom. <laughs> I've um, actually studied voting uh, theory. One more. Here, fan cast. There. I've actually studied voting theory as a hobbyist for over 25 years. It's a very old mathematical subject. It moves extremely slowly. Um, the system which the Hugos currently use to select their, um, the, the finalists <laughs> has a couple of names in voting theory. One of them is block voting, which is because it is extremely susceptible to slates. There is a lot of literature on how to make a system which, in which a slate cannot dominate a list, where when you're trying to generate a list, it's called the representative committee problem in the literature. You're trying to generate a list. You don't want a small fraction to be able to fill the entire list. Systems which have the characteristic that they don't allow the fraction to fill the entire list are called proportional systems or semi-proportional systems. The current system you have is not proportional. That's why they sometimes call it block voting. Um, EPH is a proportional system. Is it the best proportional system? I don't know, but as a proportional system, no slate is going to fill the ballot. Okay. Um, can, I, can I treat that as a question and make a statement Certainly. related to it? Yeah. Okay. Um, absolutely, I agree that EPH is a proportional system. Um, however, the, the end result of the proportional system is on average our, our, our small perverse minority uh, of 10 to 15, possibly 20 percent, but more likely 10 to 15, is still going to control on average 80 percent of the ballot. So we're putting a lot in for a little benefit and I think that there I, are other ways to address it. I would it. like to dispute that and say that it means they will control 20 to 50 percent as you can see in the fan cast from the difference in results. Rachel, Miss Axe. <laughs> I remain Rachel Axe. Um, just a question for you, Dave. Sure. Uh, with how difficult is it going?